Welcome to Soul Cafe TV, where you will be uplifted, inspired, elevated, and enriched. Thank you for joining us. Please take the time to subscribe, like, and share our videos. Let others know about us, and if you ever want to be a contributor, the information is in the description. For more inspirational content, see the description for the link to Soul Cafe Radio. God bless you. think about it, I started in the church as a little girl, seven years old, and my grandmother used to take me to church back in Tulsa, Oklahoma, and I used to sing for the Lord, and I used to sing in the adult choir, and I loved the Lord with all my heart. By the time I was nine years old, I was gung-ho, and my grandmother even said to me one day, she said, you know, baby, God's going to use you one day. And I, I didn't know what she meant. But I knew I liked the sound of God using me. By the time I was 11 years old, my mother and father and my five brothers and my little sister, we moved from Tulsa to California. My, my dad's job has transferred him out here. And by the time I was 12 years old, I found myself in the nightclubs in Los Angeles. My mom and dad used to go to the clubs on the weekends. They didn't know the Lord Jesus. And grandma wasn't around anymore, so we just quit going to church. <clears throat> was in the nightclubs at 12 years old, and that was the worst place and the last place I needed to be. But I had a praying grandmother. <laughs> By the time I was 13 years old, I had recorded my first single and began to open up for people like Stevie Wonder and Aretha Franklin, B.B. King, and... Bill Cosby, I remember opening up for him one time and things began to happen. Hallelujah. Things began to happen all around me. The devil had a, 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 a trap set. He was going to set me up because see I liked it. I liked the money. I was making a lot of money. And I liked the glamour. And I liked the applause because that said I love you. We all want to be loved. I didn't know that Jesus loved me. I didn't know a thing. When I was 16 years old, I had had a baby out of wedlock. And by the time I was 17 years old, I left home and joined the cast of hair. And I began to travel all across the country. I was making more money than my mom and dad put together by then and things were looking pretty good. Then I was introduced to marijuana. The devil had a trap set. Next thing I know it was pills. Pills to get up in the morning and pills to go to bed at night. Then it was the alcohol. And then I became very promiscuous and ran around with a lot of people I had no business being with. And one day I was introduced to cocaine and I know that all drugs are a spirit. But this cocaine became my best friend. And I began to hang out with the devil and I did everything that I was big and bad enough to do. And I'm not glorifying him, I'm just letting him know that I don't belong to you. Hallelujah. I've been set free. Hallelujah. Glory to God. I went on for about 12 years of my life and I traveled with people and I worked with Shaka Khan and Rufus and I worked with Captain and Tennille and all the people in the studios and I was good at my job and I was quick and I could demand double, triple scale, and I went to work, and I was high every day. The devil was trying to kill me, but I had a praying grandmother, never turned her back on me. Hallelujah. 
One time when I was in Houston, Texas, I met a man there and I was getting ready to go on the road with Shaka Khan and there was a group going on the road with us, Heat Wave, and they had a man working with them and he was doing their lights and he, I didn't know this, but I met him on the road and he was a nice guy and you never would know it to look at him, but he was also, not only was a light director, but he was a cocaine dealer. So the devil knows how to really do it. So we began to be friends and we began to date and, and um, you know, I began to get all the cocaine I wanted for free. How many of you know it wasn't for free? But we came home, me and this young man, and we began to live together and he was still selling drugs and I began to make drops for him. I was dropping off cocaine and making a lot of foolish uh, turns in my life and my life began to do this spiral, downward spiral. I was going to hell. Then I began to watch Christian television. I began to watch Dr. Frederick Casey Price. No matter what time I went to bed on Saturday night, whether it was 3.30, 4.30 in the morning, somehow our eyes popped open at 8.30. Evidence. <laughs> and I, I have to be honest with you, I used to sit there with my pre-rolled joints from the night before, and I used to fire up a joint and watch Dr. Price. And I used to kind of, you know, Dr. Price, I, you know, you know how I am. I used to kind of make fun of Dr. Price. I said, well, just look at him talking about faith come by hearing. <laughs> and hearing by the word of God. But faith came. <laughs> Hallelujah. Go on and praise him tonight. Hallelujah. He's worthy. Yes, he is. For about two years I watched Christian television. I was in and out and I bought a Bible and I would throw away all of the paraphernalia to smoke crack with and to smoke free base and we used to make it and make our own. I threw it all in the trash and then I'd go get it again and we'd get high. And one night as I was getting loaded, I began to pass out. Then my head hit the wall. Boom! And I began to slide down the wall and as I came to all of my bodily fluids were doing their own thing and I was dying. But I had a praying grandmother and I knew enough to call on the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. It wasn't a couple of days later that I was watching Christian television and grandma tells me she was laying on her face during this time and she had been fasting for two weeks and just calling on the name of Jesus. Save my granddaughter. Save my granddaughter Jesus. I watched Christian TV one night and it, and it was as if God himself said, that's enough. And he rebuked the devil from me long enough for me to make an intelligent decision. And I said, Jesus, if you're turning me back, I want to come home if you'll take me. And I said, Jesus, I know you're real. If you'll just take all of this away from me, take all of the drugs, take them away, I'm tired. And I want you to know that instantly I was set free. Instantly I was delivered. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This was on a Friday night. And I want you to know that not only did God save and deliver me and set me free, but he saved that drug dealer and he's my husband tonight, James Taylor. Into my life one day I always knew 
my heart didn't have it, but I couldn't do it no. I've that joy in my heart. I want the whole world to know that I'm lifting up the name of Jesus. Yes, I am. Wasting time looking for an easy thrill, looking for peace in every kind of pill. Marijuana didn't have it, cocaine can't do it. No, I've got peace for my mind. I want the whole world to know that He saved me, delivered me. Don't you know that Jesus has set me free? He'll never leave you, nor forsake. Lifting up the 